Hello and welcome back to All in One. Yes, this is episode nine, and I'm Dan Ross Probs, and I've been a little bit busy off camera. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Yes, I have gone pretty B mad right here. And uh, look at this. I've got, basically, what I've done is made basic normal vanilla bees here. We've got some Inferium bees in this one. And that is all I've done. But I've just prepared this and set this all up like this. Um, basically, it's just little three by three areas. If I go in here, look, you can kind of see. I did kind of touch base on this um, last episode. But I did say I was going to make this a little bit better. And this is kind of what I've come up with. So we've got a scaffolding. We've got an advanced crimson beehive. And if you remember last time, when you click on that, you actually get a GUI. But this one has two extra slots, which is pretty nice. And that is because I put an expansion box. Now, the expansion box, from reading up and stuff, you can see the bees in the background. Look, basically, what it does is add two more slots. So you kind of can get more honeycomb and honey bottles and stuff a lot faster. So yes, um, these bees require um, inferior blocks to make them produce pollen. So a bit like how, you know, normal bees need flowers. Um, you have to put blocks down and he's doing like a, a 360 dance or something. I don't really know what he's doing, but you can see all five of these bees are in here. And if I hold shift, it tells me a lot of statistics about them and stuff, which is quite nice. If you throw a load of bottles in here, they get automatically crafted into honey bottles and you get honeycomb and you get inferium comb as well. Then the Inferium comb, if you get any type of Inferium, goes into the centrifuge and then it becomes actual what it's supposed to be. So if I put the Inferium comb in here, it would become Inferium right there. And it fills it up with honey. And if you put bottles in here, it will fill them up with honey. So I've been kind of grinding away here. Um, I haven't really done too much other than that. I've made a couple new crops I'll show you. But I got this um, QB... Um, <laughs> Don't honestly know what this does yet. If you know, let me know in the comments section because I feel like it's supposed to be like Cupid. I'm guessing that it pricks you and it gives you a love effect because if you look at his tail, it's kind of like red. <laughs> I don't know. I need to do a bit more investigation on that. Um, But that was the actual bee um, egg that I got actually in the quest. If you remember, I think it was actually... Uh, where was it? Maybe it was on the bee thing. Nope. Um, I don't honestly know where I got that bee from. I can't remember. Was it this? Nope. It might have been one of these, maybe. I honestly can't remember, guys. I definitely got a bee egg from one of these quests. Was it this one? Ah, animal's bread. There we go. We got the actual QB from that look. That's how you do it. You have to breed 40 animals. So, that is that. And what I've actually done is made myself an elevator block here. And what I'm going to do is when I extend this basically make it into a massive hotel that goes up in the sky that's the plan so i can just jump to each layer by going on that i've already got a, another elevator block in here so i want to point out um botania flowers can work with these guys which is really 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 handy because they're a lot easier to get than um vanilla flowers in my opinion um i don't i'm testing here i don't know what happens if this bee grows up you see and i try and breed it with that bee there's not really a lot going on when I go on it. It, it just says that um, you, you breed a farmer bee and a rancher bee, you get this bee. And if I look at the uses, it doesn't really... It just says that it gets the animals in the mood. To be honest, I think it might just basically hit animals and make them breed. I, I'm not honestly too sure what it does, <laughs> to be fair. But I imagine it's something to do with that because, again, if the quest is... 40 animals bred and it gives you that bee. I presume it does something to do with that. I'm probably right here. I'm thinking about it. So what are we actually going to be doing today? That is the question. And what we are going to be doing, hopefully, if I can pull this off, is get myself an emerald seed, a diamond seed, maybe question mark an experience seed. Again, this is probably going to take a long time to do. But I want to get the essential ingredients I need for this. Um, but I want to get these two. But the main thing I want to get is a Prospera bee. <laughs> But to get this fella, right, we need to get a crystalline bee. But to get a crystalline bee, we need to make a quartz nest. And then we need to make this quartz nest and put it in the actual nether look. So it attracts crystalline bees in the nether. Nests must be placed in the nether to attract bees. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to work. So we're going to try this out together. But I thought this would be a nice little thing to go for. Because obviously to get prosperity shards is quite a pain. Obviously, the only way I know how to do it is with uh, the orchids so far. 
So that's what we're going to do, guys. So hopefully you are ready to learn a bit about bees. Um, we did get a few name suggestions here of this uh, purple crab. But um, in all honesty, maybe uh, we'll just leave it. <laughs> Some of you guys have said about calling the turtles Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some of you guys have said the Burger Krusty Crab crab or something and i don't know pretty rubbish names there was one that stuck out but i'm waiting guys i'm waiting to see if any of you actually come up with a better name for it but anyway before we get into anything we need to make this quartz nest and from what i could see it's just you need an iron sword with a quartz in neverack which is just quartz with neverack bit of a random recipe but it's like you probably cut out a uh i don't know a couple of slots for the old bees to go in i guess boom there we go um okay we did some other quests apparently but there we go hopefully that works wow what is going on here you put an iron sword in there and it becomes a silence gears iron sword that's quite cool anyway quartz nest perfect um right let's just tick off these then that we just got mob kills what we get a diamond mob farm for that apparently i've killed 150 mobs since when have i done that i probably have to be fair i genuinely didn't know that was a thing until just now and we've got mob kills, and I've got myself an iron mob farm. What? Now, a long time ago, I saved up a wooden mob farm because I thought this would be quite cool. Um, genuinely, I have no idea how these things work, so this... I didn't really expect to get one of these. Um, okay, right. I've got a chest here now. This is quite a neat thing. Oh, and by the way, I've been upgrading up all the storage because we're kind of running out of storage. Uh, I don't honestly know how this works, so we're just going to put this here and put that on top. Okay, I presume we put something in it. I.e., let's grab Mr. B here. Come here, little B. Can we literally put these guys in like this? No. Okay. Maybe it only works with spawn eggs. I genuinely don't know how these things work. I've never used these before. Oh, insert a lasso to activate. Okay. So, I did save that as well. Look, a lasso. And they're quite expensive. Okay, so right-click on any mob to capture it. Okay. So, for example, if I wanted to capture the bee, I would craft that up, put the bee in there. I guess it would produce what the bee would produce? Question mark? I don't really know. Hmm. I'll leave them for now. If I need to uh, capture something, I will put it in there. So, if you remember correctly, I've got a Crimson Forest just here, but... Shall I just stick it on top of this, maybe? Because it's like a forest. Maybe we've got a higher chance of actually seeing some bees or something here. I, I don't honestly know how this works. <laughs> We're learning together, okay? Um, let's just stack up a little bit and just put that on top of there. Nest is empty. Use honey tree to attract a bee. Oh, I wish I knew that before. Right, we'll go back and we're going to put a honey tree in there. Uh, just quickly, out of curiosity, a honey treat. Whoops, if I can spell it. Honey treat, honey treat. I think it's uh, this thing. There we go. It's honey bottle and honeycomb. Okay, very easy to craft. Okay, so I've got three honey treats. I don't know if you can put loads in. And I thought I'd better bring some leads with me just in case I do catch these guys. How does this work? <gasps> Here we go. You click on it with it. I can just keep putting them on there, I guess. Oh, repopulation cooldown. I did not see that at the top. Okay, so this takes 960 seconds. Wow, that's quite a long time. Um, while I'm here, though, I'm going to go around and gather up as much quartz as I can just to get my final little XP up to 30. Because um, Dan, Dan's on a roll now. He's not died for a while. Hopefully he uh, hasn't jinxed it. These flowers, by the way, you can use these for breeding um, the actual bees as well. If I look at the uses, look... And I go to a bee flowering. Some bees like these only f these flowers, basically. So like the explosive bee, which is one I can actually craft. A digger bee? A green carpenter? Oh, my God. You name it, there's a bee. I swear. <laughs> so many bees, man. Oh, God. Dan, Dan, the beekeeper. That's what I'm going to be called now. Um, but, yes, I'm going to go around and hunt for um, a load of quartz and stuff. And just kind of waste a bit of time until... We can see what happens whoa, with this um, this this little quartz nest I've made. And there we go. I've just hit level 30. Jeez. That took a bit of time, but we got there. Okay, so it's still got 600 seconds. Now, my question is, is this thing still going to be actual, like, 
ticking while I'm not in here? We can try and see what happens, right? So I'm at the Never, and I'm literally just trying to get myself a decent book here with this Librarian. But to be honest, I think I'm probably just going to leave it because there's so many new enchantments in this mod pack as well. Um, that I have no idea what they are, right? I'll leave him with Infinity. I'm not... I'm not going to use it, probably, but I shall probably do all that kind of stuff off camera. But as I'm level 30, oh, we could get on breaking free on this thing. I think I'm just going to do it because I feel like this Paxel is probably a decent one to do. Oh my god, guys. No freaking way. We just got fortune free, efficiency 4, and I'm breaking free. That has just become a legendary Paxel right there. No way. I can't believe that. That is sick. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so happy I did that. I genuinely thought it was just unbreaking then, but that's given me fortune. So my question is, does fortune work with when I do this? Probably. Uh, we're going to just try a, um, a little bit here. But I'm a bit intrigued to see if this is a faster way for me to get um, prosperity shards, basically. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to grab this quickly and show you. This is another technique. Somebody has mentioned this in the comment section, um, but I will show you how I do this. I literally just fire this, and it does a bit of a machine gun look, but we're out of stone. But it, don't look, it doesn't look like we've got any uh, prosperity, unfortunately. But I'm wondering if prosperity, uh, in, you know, like ore, actually works with fortune, but I imagine it does. Oh, wow, this is so much quicker. <laughs> this is so much quicker. And we're getting more gems and stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yes. I'm so happy. That is amazing. Right, Dan. Do not lose this Paxel because this is a beast. So while I'm waiting around for this quartz nest to do its thing, hopefully, hopefully it still ticks while we're here. This is a bit of a test. Um, I'm going to make some emerald seeds and some diamond seeds. Now, the recipe is pretty cheap, really. We just need this uh, supremium essence, which is the last tier. Now, luckily, I've already been kind of working my way towards this. So, I only need a little bit. So, probably this won't be too difficult to do. Um, I haven't got a lot of this stuff left, though. Because, like I say, I have been making some of this off camera um, as time has been going on. Uh, so yeah, let's just kind of upgrade this till we get enough. We're probably going to go for something like Emerald and First, I would say, because it's a bit more better for me, really. Um, I'll show you why in a second. I could probably do something like that, right? Probably speed up a bit. Pain to do this. You can't, um, like, auto-craft these, unfortunately. Well, maybe you can, but I mean, you know, with mouse clicking, it, it's, it's, it's pretty slow. <laughs> Cool, we got 11 of them, so that's going to give me a few more. I haven't got quite enough, but for the diamond and for the actual um, emerald, I need tier 5 soil as well, so I've got to bear that in mind. So I'm probably going to have to make a tier 5 soil right now, and we're going to just chuck it in one of these. There we go. So I'm probably going to make um, emerald first, but why do I want these? This is the question. It's because I want to get myself some upgrade bases. Now, these use emeralds and diamonds, and I need honey treats. This is the thing I made earlier with honeycomb and honey. Um, but yeah, emeralds is more, more useful here. But this is basically to upgrade my little hives and stuff, my bee nests and stuff. It just makes the production speed quicker, and this it de-increases de the time spent in the actual hive, um, which is quite cool. So hopefully, these little upgrades will help. Um, right, so we need to put a um, seed base there, and we need to grab ourselves some emeralds as well, which I've probably got loads of. Um, from obviously mining up my orchid and stuff. Yeah, we got enough. Not a problem. But not only that, I can use emeralds to trade with my little trading villager dude over here, right? I'm hoping I can get another one of them. There we go. Cool. Um, so, yeah. All in all, pretty cool already so far. We're doing all right, I think. Um... I would like to try and, like I say, get myself a diamond seed as well today. But am I maybe pushing my luck here? Probably. <laughs> I mean, to be honest though, guys, I do have tons and tons of this honeycomb. So why don't I chuck all this in the centrifuge? Oh, it's not going to be a lot in there, is there? This actually, look, if I look at the uses, it will actually produce between four and seven if it doesn't lag, there we go, between four to seven pieces of Inferium per honeycomb. So in all in all, it's actually pretty decent. 
Um, I don't know what the honey limit is here. I presume it will go up quite a lot. It's probably 10,000, right? Um, I'm wondering if I just uh, quickly attach a hopper to that. It will fill it up. I presume it probably will. If I'm in a nether, that should continue ticking, I hope. Yeah, it's working. Cool. So I'll let that build up, and hopefully when we come back... Um, can I chuck that in? There we go. Um, that'll be quite full. So let's go and have a look at this nest and see <laughs> if um, my little theory has worked here. I suppose I could put these whoops, these seeds on there and put some diamonds in the middle, right? As well, just so we're ready to be get this diamond seed. Um, so it's four of them as well. There we go. So these, these seeds are quite expensive, really, if you think about it. <laughs> they are not very uh, starting game kind of seeds, are they? But yes, I shall be back once I got to this little nest. A moment of truth. Does it work while you're away? It was on 600 and something. No. <laughs> ah, that's a bit of a shame. Right, is there something in here called a chunk loader? Concrete chunk. A weirding gadget. What is this? Chunk loader. Ah. You notice when you place this device that things continue to run even when you can't see them. It also seems that if you wear it on your head, you can sense the presence of any nearby gadgets. What? Okay, I'm probably going to make one of these because I could definitely do that. Um, let's see if it works, shall we? Let's make a weirding gadget. God. It's quite expensive, but I got all the resources to do it. Um, why not, right? I'm hoping it doesn't require power, though. It's the only thing. Okay, so I'll put it right next to it. Uh, it's on 450. So remember that. 400 and something. That's what I'm going to say. Oh dear. Does this mean... Um, hang on a minute. I haven't been looking at my timer down in the corner. Does that mean my never timer will run out? Oh god. I don't honestly know. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> oh god. It's not... Um, yeah, I'm a bit confused here now. A bit scared. We'll see. 450 something. That's what it was on, right? Uh, right, what else can we do? While we're waiting around for that thing, we can get rid of that and that. We do need to make some solium ingots, but this is the whole purpose of this. Uh, I could probably get rid of that, and I can get rid of the emerald seeds, right? Um, I'm going to get rid of these nests, but the upgrade is like that. Uh, we can use treated sticks as well, I spotted. Um, I could probably be doing a bit of storage upgrading, so why don't we do this quickly? Um, so we can actually make ourselves a diamond chest pretty, pretty easy, I would say. Uh, right, let's start this process. Because we need to get a bit more better storage going on. At least something where it's all in one. Um, okay, let's get some gold, let's get some iron, and we're going to upgrade this. So I pretty much cleaned it all up, guys. So I got this diamond chest here. This is gems, materials, metals, etc. More rare items, basically. That's what's going on in here. Not completely full, but this one, on the other hand, is. This is a bit of a jumble sale, a bit of a mishmash of everything I've kind of got. I'm probably going to get rid of that granite and just chuck it off the edge. I have binned quite a lot of stuff. I've cleaned out stuff, but... Oh, this is a nice weight off my shoulders. I don't need to worry about <laughs> looking through all of these horrible chests anymore. And I know where things are now, which is nice. So, how's this thing doing? Uh, okay, we've still got a bit in there. Um, this bee looks like he's trying to actually be in love with that bee. Am I actually right here? Let's take one of these never bee, never ones. There you go. Are they going to breed? Is he just permanently in love mode? Is that what's going on here? Maybe not. Maybe he's only four animals. I'm not too sure. But anyway, is this working? Oh my god, it's working. Yes. Okay. Now the problem is we're getting a lot of honey here. Um, okay. Well, I reckon I probably could probably make the actual diamond seed now, maybe? Because I've got one blue one in here. No, I've got a couple blue. I literally only need one blue one. That's all I need. Um, right, where's my <laughs> where's my crystal? He says he knows where everything is. There it is. I thought I would have put it in there. Okay, after all of that, we've only got ourselves one supremium essence. Our crystal's almost run out. But I did manage to make myself, um, a, you know, some dirt. So it's ready to rock. Oh, wow, we got some... Emerald seeds already, and we got emerald essence. Okay, I'm not really too fussed about having loads of these because I'm not really going to need too much. Once you've got one crop, you end up getting quite a lot anyway, really. Um, obviously, if you want to go all factory mode and 
make loads of stuff. Um, that is a good way to go down the route of that. Um, now, somebody did mention in the comment section about making all the uh, different Inferium type Bs. Um, but they do cost blocks, unfortunately. So, for example, if I want to make a um, the next level B up, I need to actually take one of these Bs and actually give it a block of Prudemium Essence. A block of it. And it will upgrade it to the next one. But look, these guys produce so much stuff for you. It's brilliant. Bees is so OP. Like, it's actually even more OP than I first anticipated or whatever you want to call it. They are very, very, very OP, in my opinion. Um, which is a good thing. I'm not complaining. Um, it, you know, it, it's awesome. <laughs> I think once you get a B set up, proper Bs, uh, I think you're going to be quite wealthy. But anyway, let's go and have an investigation here. Have we actually got this crystallite B or what? I, I don't know if this has been working. Um, I'm a bit intrigued by my timer, though. If it says, like, 30 minutes, I better smash it. No, we're all right. Okay. It's going down though. Whenever I come in, it's like it's missing like a couple of seconds, right? I think it was missing like 40. Anyway, let's have a quick look. What do you reckon? Oh god. The helicopter thing is still spinning, so that's a good sign. It was on 450 odd, right? Nest is empty. <laughs> um it's definitely worked, but it hasn't attracted anything. Oh dear. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, this might be more painful than I actually anticipated as well. <laughs> uh, i tell you what I'm going to do is make as many honey treats as I can and come back and feed that thing as much as I can. Maybe the more you give it, the more crazy it's going to be, hopefully. Or do I just make some more nests and speed up the process that way? Hmm. So looking at them all, they've all got like between seven or 600 seconds. So... I'll leave that do its thing again, and hopefully when we come back, we've actually caught something. <laughs> I mean, we got a, quite a high chance this time. We got nine of them, so hopefully this works. Okay, while I'm waiting around still, I'm going to make myself a couple of hoppers here. And uh, I'm just doing a bit of testing with this advanced, um, you know, beehive I've got. Um, I'm just seeing like if I can actually make this automatically place it's good oh my god it does <laughs> oh my god that is huge so i don't need to actually uh what i could do is just make a massive line oh my god that is amazing so all i need to do is basically have a massive line and just have two of these like this or even a diamond chest would probably be better right because if i get loads of different kind of bees that's all i need to do is make a massive hopper line and all this stuff is going to go in there for me. And I don't even need to go in there. I only need to go in there if I need to breed these guys. Oh my god, that is... Why did I not think of that before? That is huge. Okay. Time to make a bazillion hoppers and sort that out quickly. Look at this! This is so awesome. Literally, just stand here and I collect everything like that. <laughs> Couldn't be any more easier if you ask me. Um, brilliant. So now that's all sorted, let's go and have a look and see if this has worked. Please tell me it's worked. I just want my crystallite bee. So then I can give him a um, prosperity block and he should change to a prosperity bee. And then I can get prosperity pretty much on tap, which would be lovely. Oh god. Uh oh. This nest is empty, 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 empty. Still cooling down. Empty, 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 empty. How does this work? Oh, man. I guess you have to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's just one here. Uh, uh, come back. No. Come back. <laughs> There's another one up there. So that does work. What happens if I hold this flower? Oh, God. I need honey treats. I'm going to go for this one up here, I saw. Where did he go? Oh, man. No, no, no. Come back, little bee. No. 
Please tell me I haven't lost them. I think that they probably were in there, and then after time they get out, don't they? So he's still up there, look. So, okay, we're going to have to get to him and try and capture this guy. Unfortunately, we can only find the one for a minute. Uh, but he's looking like he's probably going to go. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we're going to have to smash through that wall up there just to get this bee. Good job I brought some leads, right? <gasps> Where did he go? There he is! Right, cool. Come here, you. <laughs> Stop flying away from me. Oh my god, it's giving me some effect. Resistance. Come here. Let's go. I need to push you through uh, the portal. Are you attracted to these... I don't know. At least we got one. That's a start, right? So we got the B in here, finally. That took a bit of time. Um, crystalline B. Okay, so crystalline B. Um, uses. So it makes quartz, basically. Um, and you need a block of quartz for it to actually start the pollen stage. That's okay. But we don't really want him to be that. We want him to be a... Prosperity B, which I believe is a bit like what you do with the Inferium one, is make yourself a Prosperity block. Give this to him, and he should change to a Prosperity B? If he hasn't gone in. There we go. <gasps> He's gone in. He's done it. Prosperity B. Yes. Right, and now we go Prosperity B. And then... Yeah, crystalline, so that makes that, we know. And if we go to uses, I just need to make sure I've got a prosperity block on the floor, a bit like the inferior one here. And we need to capture another one of these dudes. Right, so let's go back in there. Hopefully, there's going to be another one there. Oh, that was a bit of a challenge. My lead's up there, but hopefully we can do this. Just so we got two, at least, so we can breed these guys. Um, if not, I, I might actually take some more honey treats with me, maybe. Finally, I found myself another bee here, but... This has been quite a bit of a problem for me because I've been fighting a lot of hoglins in the same time. But there was like three of them flying around over there. So I've luckily managed to capture one here. Um, yeah, I don't have any gold armor as well now. So actual piglins will be uh, very angry with me. And I might have said piglins, but I meant hoglins. I've been basically getting my butt kicked by them. <laughs> but yes, I'm walking all the way here now with this bee in my hand. Um... I don't know why I didn't think of this before. A bit stupid, really. Yes, you're going to be angry with me. Oh, God, there goes my bee. No. I need my bee back. Quick, we have to hold nothing. Here we go. We got him. Phew. God, never want to do that again. Can I just, like, put you there? Push you in? Maybe? Oh. They're weird, these bees. They're like turning into ice cubes. Go. Come on. Go in there. There we go. Cool. Same process as last time. Jeez. What a nightmare. Oh, he's still on my lead this time. Okay, cool. Well, let's go and put you with your little friend. And then we need to get another bit of prosperity. And then we can make another block. Um, so I made those honey treats for no reason. But maybe we'll use them. Come on, then. Come on. Are you going to be better than your friend? Yep. I don't care about the yellow bee. It's fine. Here we go. Cool. They're in there together. Where's that yellow bee? Come here. Uh, you can go in another one, actually. Let's move you in there. There we go. Oh, bee management time, right? It's uh, it's really hard to play around with these bees, I'm not going to lie, because if you accidentally hit them, you have a massive accident on your hands, i.e. you actually end up killing all your bees because they all go aggressive, which is really crazy. Um, Okay, so I need to get myself a little bit more prosperity just so I can make two of these guys, and then I'll be happy because I've only got eight, look. Um, I made this quartz block. It didn't even work, um, unfortunately. We got a diamond seed, which is pretty cool. I can throw that off the edge and that. Cool. So I only need two blocks. One block is for them actually to pollinate. And the other one is so I can change this other one. So let's find him. 
Huh? Where did he go? Oh, we're in the wrong one. <laughs> My bad. There we go. Come here, you. Yay, he's changed. Look, nice. Now all I need to do is punch this out. And there we go. They should pollinate like they do with their neighboring one. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's a point. Can I breed these? One of them and one of them. What do they do? Oh, my God. Look how cute it is. <laughs> Jesus, man. That is actually genuinely tiny. Look at your little baby. It's so small. <laughs> It's like he's giving him a little kiss look. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So thank you very much for watching. I've got a little bit of breeding and stuff to do off camera, but probably not too much. But I'm happy, man. We've we got the diamond seeds. We got what we wanted. Next up, I need to work on these experience seeds off camera, probably. And then we're going to be upgrading these uh, beehives and stuff. Um, as far as quests go, I didn't even touch the one block today. Um, but I think next time we're going to smash through... The one block and maybe get to i guess it goes like in the order right is that what it's doing i guess we're gonna be going to astral next i don't know i do need to make this iron axe as well so let me just see what this actually opens up i'm a bit intrigued because some of these uh quests if you actually do like the basic little things they do open up to something else um let's just see if i can put the sticks right okay <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's finished, I guess. 100% is it? That came up with that Terra Shatterer, didn't it? Why did that say that? Bit weird. Uh, time is up. Your exploration is limited in time. You will need tricks to quickly explore each dimension. Okay. I figured that out. Uh, okay, we have got some other little quests to do, but... Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Darren Ross Probs. Take care, and I shall see you next time. Bye!